No. Okay, so welcome to the the podcast. Um, today we're going to be discussing JD Vance's Hillbilly Elegy. I have with me today Josh and Marcus. I'll introduce myself, Marcus. I'll introduce myself, Josh. I'll introduce uh, myself, Ayush. That, hey, that was my line. Hayes for horses. That's yeah. kind of facts, actually. Okay, okay, well, okay. Well, we need to get started, though. Yeah, we need, we need to get started on this podcast. Uh, who this, would like to go first? That has to be the worst. Sir. I, 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 can, I can go first. I can okay, go. okay. Josh? The, the All right, part. so something that I'm going to be the, is, is in my paper. There's like there's a huge overarching theme of like work work ethic and like and disappointment lack, lack thereof work ethic in the Appalachian region. Like uh, JD just kind of gives several examples of people like just quit. It. Like one of them was like well, this guy just like quit his job because he didn't want to work, even though it was like a good paying job. He just like gave up on it because he didn't want to work and. He was making good money and supporting his family and whatnot. And there are jobs available, but just like the work ethic isn't there. So then that's like part of the reason why I'd say that Appalachia is suffering. Like both now and back then. Nice. Uh, do you, yeah. Yeah. What, what like in the, what in the story, like name a specific moment when you kind of uh, realized this when you were reading the book. I don't know. I, I honestly... I don't know if I like remember specifically when I noticed it. I just feel like JD kind of yeah. like has this like <clears throat> vendetta against lack of work, work ethic based on like his experience with. I kind of uh, realized it around like, page 130. Uh, just, uh, that's just a free ball out there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, um, uh, what are you so- talking about? Like, you, like it was like after finishing the book, you kind of like had that like realization, Hey, this is what it is. I mean, like it, it, I'd say it's like a combination of things. Like I, I feel like JD kind of more or less subconsciously conveyed his theories on why Appalachia is the way it is throughout the book. Yeah. Like, throughout, like just the culture as well as like, like yeah, it's like talking about the how it affects the human condition within. Um, Appalachia. It's just work ethic. I feel like is something that he feels very strongly about, and that we kind of that there's kind of a lack of it in <clears throat> Appalachia. Yeah, yeah. Um, the lack of personal hygiene is uh, was quite prominent in the book. Always uh, mentioning how everyone had that Mountain Dew smile, the missing teeth, nice yellow shade. The that is very prominent. And the in unhealthy, life. the unhealthy diets they led. Uh, like at, yeah. Um, at, at, at one point in the book, he, he remembers how his the most fancy restaurant he ever went to was a Cracker Barrel, and he couldn't. He loved it. <laughs> he thought it was the fanciest thing ever. He'd go there with his grandparents. And they'd have a blast, but he whenever didn't he didn't know any any better because he's in Appalachia. Uh, yeah, yeah. When he was like talking about when he was like in college or whatever, he ate like Taco Bell with every meal. <clears throat> and, Actually, like, that's not that's not that bad. Okay. I, I mean, he he claims that it was a very his like diets were like really bad while he was in college because of how like how you know fast food is just you, you know fast. It's it's in the name, just like and you're and they're EA in college. Sports. <laughs> And they're in college. Uh, yeah, you know, in college. You can't forget that. You can't forget that. He was. Fast, also, false, fast food's also cheap, though. Yeah, it, that's why. Yeah, it's it's for college students. Like it's my man's not going to be going to Outback Steakhouse every day, getting a twenty ounce steak, <laughs> living it up. Yeah, Aussie style. Exactly. <clears throat> you got it. You got a rationale. You got to extend your money. Um. So, uh. what about you? Uh. What about you, Marcus? What did what did you think about the book? Yeah, what, what like uh, with the, just the general overall thoughts? Like, I know. Just, it, what did you 10? think? Uh, what did you think was the, the the theme of the book? Really? Hmm. 
That's a toughie. There's so many different themes you could pick out. I mean, like, just what's one you think we should talk yeah, about yeah, in the okay. podcast that we haven't already? Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> like, Continue on. About... I'll jump in whenever. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Something else um, that I something else I want to sorry to sorry to interrupt you there. I it's complete. something that I just uh, kind of want to mention is just like the value of family uh, in the book, like how <clears throat> close knit the family is, even though there's like a lot of turmoil and whatnot in his upbringing, and just kind of how like close knit everyone is in the family and in the community, <laughs> and how they all also have this like sense of hillbilly justice. Yeah, and just kind of how it affected JD later in his life, like thinking back and whatnot. Yeah, it's just um, like the thing at the beginning of the book about um, what was it? The uh, I'm having a brain fart right now. The the thing <clears throat> where the man. It's been a while since I read it. The thing where the one guy beat up the other guy because he – oh, yeah, he insulted his mom. Oh, oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, like, the cops just, like, didn't care about it because they knew it had been settled by the hillbilly rules. Yeah. Like, like whenever – yeah. yeah, whenever his mom tried to kill him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah I thought that part was really stupid whenever he didn't tell the police that. Well, it, uh, it's just a sense of family, you know. He wanted to yeah. just – yeah. Yeah. And how it holds them down on like half the things they did in their life. You know, I I said like it was like family in, uh, is in is the main theme of the story mainly because it's well, it's kind of the thing that allows J D Vance. I mean, I guess Vance to you know become who he is. But at the so same, so I guess time, like kind of the moral of the story is only use your family. Don't care about them. Just use them. Uh, I mean, that's particularly the moral of the story. I, I, I if, that, if, that, if that's what you if that's use what your you family wait, only though. to keep you alive because they get paid the second you get paid ditch them they don't matter so they're only gonna hold you back so you're saying that jd should uh, jd came to the conclusion that he should take advantage of the no i'm saying the, he should have came to that conclusion oh but he didn't yeah is that the conclusion that you've come to that's the conclusion i've came to Dang. After a lot of deep thought, I mean, fair play. Uh, I don't remember when I started this recording, <laughs> so I don't know. It's supposed. It's not allowed to exceed ten okay, minutes. It, no, we, we. I think that it could be combined, like oh, oh, at least okay. thirty minutes, because we're all three talking. It says about it Zoom forty minutes at the top. I don't know what that means, but um, <clears throat> sure. Let's let's just let's just keep it let's just keep it rolling. Um. Yeah, I said family was the main thing of the, of like the main theme of the book, mainly because it's in the book. It's kind of it 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 holds JD down and it keeps him up because at the, at the beginning he kind of you know he started off with, with a pretty good life. Uh, his family was nice, and I mean it. Well, I mean I don't know if I don't know if I'd say he had a good life, but he I, yeah. he thought it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was. Know? I mean, it was superficial. Yeah. He later <laughs> called it superficial, but um, one of his uncles chased him with a knife. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just. Have the, that never happened to you? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> that was I'm a joke. Sure it's like not that good. Was a joke. That was a joke. But like, <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, yeah. We, um, <clears throat> I've no, never no one, experienced that. Yeah, me. me well, neither. I thought everybody in Appalachia did. Well, uh, I guess not. I mean, me and my uncle, we always throw knives at each other. It's like a little game we have. Like, try to catch the person off guard. Got a few scars. Where? Nowhere. Dang. Because it didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> that, that was some... You that just was got some, debated. That yeah, was some got deception. Debated. That was some Yeah, deception. you really, you really got it. Bang, and that. that's the moral of the story. That's what ha- happened in the book. That's the theme, deception. <laughs> the, the theme is deception. I'd like to read your essay on this one. You would? Hmm. We'll see if that essay gets made. Okay. I'm with all. <laughs> All right, that's the ending. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's ending the podcast. Make sure you subscribe and uh, like. This is this is obviously going to become a series. Uh, so yeah, uh, peace. <laughs>